An Angel Made of Stars A Bufotin Intro Report by R. Henna Uploaded on October 20th, 2010 Earwid Note One should not attempt to perform alkaloid extractions without first having an understanding of safe handling procedures for the chemicals and equipment required. We had read several reports of free-based Bufotin and being a pleasant experience, so we decided to give it a go and see for ourselves. We purchased 100 grams of Anandanta their colobrina seeds and powderized them in a little blender. This was boiled for one hour in 1000 milliliters of water made pH 3 with citric acid found in our local vitamin shop at the mall. We used a pH meter to check that the pH was exactly 3. After boiling the seeds were filtered through cotton balls and the water was saved. We added 1000 milliliters of water, boiled the same seeds again and then filtered out the seeds and saved the water. This was repeated a third time and the seeds were discarded. The water was boiled down to about 200 milliliters. We added 50 grams of calcium hydroxide to bring the pH up to about 12.5. Then, we extracted three times with 200 milliliters of heptane. Because bufotenin is soluble in alkaline water, only the DMT and 5-MeO-DMT could be extracted. The heptane was saved. It contains DMT and 5-MeO-DMT for later use. Then the extract was evaporated down to a completely dry powder to remove all water. The powder was ground again in a blender. At this point we extracted three times with 200 milliliters of heptane. Because no water was present, the free base bifotin had no alkaline water to be soluble in and could now be extracted into the heptane. The heptane was evaporated and free base bufotenin was present as an amber waxy substance. This was scraped up and weighed at 1835 milligrams. The three of us took 100 milligrams of free base bufotenin mixed with 100 milligrams of sodium carbonate. We heard that this would help it get absorbed. We all placed it under our tongues, but after 15 minutes none of us noticed anything. Our mouths were filled with saliva and we couldn't wait to spit it out. Robin swallowed some of it. Me and my girlfriend though did our best not to swallow any. We heard it will ruin the effects to swallow. All of our tongues were sore. The mix burnt a little, probably from the sodium carbonate. After 20 minutes I started feeling really nice. My girlfriend started smiling really big, and she said she started feeling a wave of euphoria flowing through her body. Robin on the other hand said she felt a little bit nauseated. After about 5 more minutes it hit me really strong. Everything in the room started flashing different colours and the walls were rapidly changing colours. Almost like a coloured strobe light effect. Robin was getting even more nausea and said she was starting to experience some light visual effects. My girlfriend closed her eyes and sat still with a huge smile on her face. I didn't bother her. After about five more minutes, the effects were really intense. It was like being on a super strong LSD trip. Everything was shimmering and swirling, and I heard angels singing all around me, but saw none of them. It was incredibly intense, but I also felt completely relaxed. My girlfriend sat there motionless, breathing in and out, still smiling really big. After another 10 minutes, I closed my eyes and wow, I saw a bunch of stars dancing. These stars turned into angels. They were beautiful, nude with wings and were singing. Their faces kept changing and they were multicoloured. One of the angels came close to me. I could see through her. I could see she was made of tiny coloured stars. Millions of them. Suddenly, she blew apart into a million stars. I started to feel dizzy. I opened my eyes. Everything in the room was multicoloured and flashing and waving as if made of water. I began to get a little uncomfortable when I saw my girlfriend was still sitting in the same place, completely motionless. I got up and touched her. 
She jumped and opened her eyes. She said she was having an out-of-body experience and couldn't remember the details of it, but that it was beautiful. Robin was no longer in the room with us. She was downstairs watching TV. She said she was bored and that the effects were pretty weak. After another 10 minutes, the effects started to fade. I like the fact that the whole trip was over in about one and a half hours. It's the perfect duration. I was back to baseline and able to drive Robin home before too late. The overall effects were very euphoric. It was sort of like a mushroom experience but more relaxed. I never experienced visuals that were that intense from anything else. It surpassed my experiences with mushrooms, LSD and DMT. During the peak I felt completely relaxed and at home with the trip, but was hallucinating to the extreme. It was the most beautiful experience I've ever had. The sound of the angels singing was clear and loud. I'd never experienced sound hallucinations ever before, even on high doses of LSD. I am surprised at all the negative stuff I've been reading about Bufotin and how could such a beautiful compound have such a negative reputation? Robin did experience negative effects though. She experienced lots of nausea and got a headache afterwards. She did swallow some of it, so that may explain her bad experience. Me and my girlfriend, on the other hand, both had very beautiful experiences. My girlfriend, who normally has bad trips on LSD, said the experience was similar to dreaming and was completely unlike acid. It was her very first out-of-body experience. She said it was sort of like peyote without the rush and the nausea, but that it was more dreamy in nature.